can digest everything here. Oh, at least I had some seconds of silence. Hi, it's me again, I'm Jam, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome here. In this video, we're going to watch History of Japan in 9 minutes. Oh, that's so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be learning things about Japan, of course, history of Japan, and let's see what's in this. That's a very interesting video because it has a huge audience. Uploaded on February 3rd, 2016. Thank you so much for being here. I just want you to know that you're all amazing and you are all wonderful, and thank you so much for always watching my videos. Let's do this right away. Japan is an island by the sea filled with volcanoes and it's beautiful. In the year negative a billion, Japan might not have been here. <laughs> negative In the year negative 40,000, it was here. And you could walk to it. And some people walked to it. Then it got warmer, oh, so yeah. icebergs melted. It became an island. The land bridges. Because it's warmer. So now there's people on the island, they're basically sort of hanging out in between the mountains, eating nuts off trees, and using the latest technology, like stones and bowls. Ding dong, <laughs> it's the outside world, and they have technology from the future, like really good metal <laughs> and crazy rice and farms. Bones. Now you can make a lot of rice really, really quickly. That means if you own the farm, you own a lot of food, which is something everybody needs to survive. So that makes you king. That's right. Rice farming and rice kingdoms spread across the land, all the way to here. The most important kingdoms were here, 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 and here. But this one was the most, most important. <laughs> this one is so cute. A heavenly super person, or emperor for short. Knock knock, get the door. It's religion. The new prince wants everyone to try this hot new religion from Biekt. Please try this religion, he said. No, said everybody. Try it, he said. <laughs> no, said everybody again, quieter this time. And so the religion was put into place, and all the rules that came with it. Then the government was taken over by another clique, and they made some reforms, like making the government govern more, and making the government more like China's government, which is a government that governs more. Hi China, he said. <laughs> Hi dipshit, said China. Can you call us something else other than dipshit, said Japan. Like what, said China. How about Sunrise Land, said Japan. And they stole China's alphabet and wrote a book about themselves. And then they made lots of poetry and art and another book about themselves. Then they stopped moving the capital every time the emperor died and kept it in one place for a while, right here. I love this fire. presentation. Like away. A rich hipster named Kukai is bored with modern Buddhism, visits China, and learns a better version, which is more spiritual. Comes back, reinvents the alphabet, and causes art and literature to be great for a long time. <laughs> and the royal palace turned into such a dream world of art. Really uh, it's giving me such so a positive vibe palace, here. Positive energy. From criminals. Hire a samurai. Everyone started hiring samurai. Rich, important people hired samurai. Poor people who could not afford to hire samurai did not hire samurai. The samurai became organized and powerful, more powerful than the government. So they made their own military government. Here, they let the emperor still be emperor, but the shogun is actually in control. Breaking news, the Mongols have invaded China. We've invaded China, said the Mongols. Please respect us or else we might invade you as well. Okay, said Japan. So the Mongols came over, ready for war, and died in a tornado. But they tried again and had a nice time fighting with the Japanese, but then died in a tornado. Then the emperor overthrows the shogunate. Tornado? The shogunate Is it really a tornado? Kyoto and makes a new shogunate. And the emperor can still dress like an emperor if he wants. That's fine. Now there's more <laughs> like painting with less colors, collaborative <laughs> poetry, funny. plays, monkey fun, tea parties, gardening, architecture, flowers. It's time for who's going to be the next shogun. Usually it's the shogun's kid, but the shogun doesn't have a kid. So he tries to get his brother to quit being a monk and be the next shogun. He says, okay, but then the shogun has a kid. Oh, so, so he is a monk. Be, Shoguns are monks. Phones. And everyone voted so hard that the palace caught on fire and burned down. The shogun actually didn't care. He was off somewhere doing poetry. And the whole country broke into pieces. Everyone is fighting with each other for local power. And it's anybody's game. Knock, knock. It's Europe. No, they're not here to take over. They just want to sell some shit. Like clocks. And guns. And Jesus. So that's cool. But everyone's still fighting each other for control. Now with guns. And wouldn't it be nice to control the capital? Which right now is puppets with no one controlling. Kyoto was the This clan is ready to make a run for it. But first, they have to trample this smaller clan, which is oh, in the, the way. capital. Surprise, the smaller clan wins. And the leader of that clan steals the idea of invading the capital and invades the capital. And it goes very well. He's about halfway through conquering Japan when someone who works for him kills him. And then someone else who works for him kills them. And that guy finishes conquering Japan. And then he confiscated everybody's swords and made some rules. And now I'm going to invade Korea and then hopefully China, he said, and failed, and also died. But before he died, he told these five guys to take care of his five-year-old son until he's old enough to be the next ruler of Japan. And the five guys said, yeah, right. It's not going to be this kid. It's going to be one of us, because we're grown-ups. And it's probably going to be this guy, who happens to be way more rich and powerful than the others. 
A lot of people support him, but a lot of people support not supporting him. They have a fight, and he wins and starts a new government right here. And he still lets the emperor dress like an emperor and have very <laughs> nice things. But don't get confused. This is the new government, and they are very strict. <laughs> so strict so nice. <laughs> no one can leave, and no one can come in. Except for the Dutch, if they want to buy and sell shit. But they have to do it right here. Now that the entire country was not at war with itself, the population increased a lot. Business increased, schools were built, roads were built, everyone learned to read, books were published. Hey, what year is this? Plays, sexy times, You're not shows, saying it here. People started to study European science from books they bought from the Dutch. Mm. We're talking geography, skeletons, physics, chemistry, astronomy, and maybe even electricity. Over time, the economic and cultural prosperity began to gradually slow down. Knock knock. 1853. It's the United States. With huge boats. With guns. Gunboats. Open the country. Stop having it be closed, said the United States. There was really nothing they could do, so they signed a contract that lets United States, Britain, and Russia visit Japan anytime they want. Choshu and Satsuma hated this. That sucks, they said. This sucks. And with almost very little outside help, they overthrew the shogunate and somehow made the emperor the emperor again and moved him to Edo, which they renamed Eastern Capital. They made a new government, which was a lot more okay. Western. They made a new constitution that was pretty Western and a military that was pretty Western. And do you know what else is Western? That's right, it's conquering stuff. So what can we conquer? Korea. They conquer Korea, taking it from its previous owner, China, and then go a little bit further. And Russia rushes in out of nowhere and says, Stop, no, you can't take that. We were going to build a railroad through here to try to get some warm water. And Russia builds their railroad, supervised by a shit ton of soldiers. And then when the railroad was done, they downgraded to a fuck ton. Did I say downgrade? I meant upgrade. And Japan says, can you maybe chill? And Russia says, how about maybe you chill? Japan is kind of scared of Russia. You'll never guess who's also kind of scared of Russia. Great Britain. So Japan and Great Britain make an alliance together. So I'm having too much info in just Feeling minutes to your way. I can't digest everything here. It's Russia, just for a moment, and then they both get tired and stop. It's time for World War One. The world is about okay. to have a war because it's the 1900s and weapons are getting crazy and all these empires are excited to try them out on each other. Meanwhile, Japan has been enjoying conquering stuff and wants more. And the next thing on their list is this part of China and lots of tiny islands. All that stuff belongs to Germany, which just I'm had really Britain, having so hard time Belgium, here. Which was being trespassed by Germany. It's so much to in France to kick just because France is friends with in Russia. Was getting ready to kick Austria's ass because Austria was getting ready to kick Serbia's ass because someone from Serbia shot the leader of Austria's ass or actually shot him in the head. And Britain is currently friends with Japan. So you know what that means. Dutch Japan One. should take the islands. Which they wanted to do anyway. So they called Britain on the telly to sort of let them know. And then they did it. And they also helped Britain a little here and there with some errands and stuff. Mm -hmm. Now the war is over. And congratulations, Japan. You technically fought in the war, which means you get to sit at the negotiating table with the big dudes where they decided who owns what. And yes, Japan gets to keep all that shit they stole from Germany. You also get to join the post-war mega alliance. The League of Nations. Whose mission statement mm -hmm. is to try not to take over the world. Great Depression is bad, and Japan's economy is now crappy, but the military is doing just fine, and it evades Manchuria. And the League of Nations is like, no, don't do that. If you're in the League of Nations, you're not supposed to take over the world. And Japan said, how about I do anyway? And Japan invaded more and more and more and more of China, and was planning to invade the entire East. You've got mail. It's from Germany, the new leader of Germany. He has a cool mustache, and he's trying to take over the world and needs friends. This also got forwarded to Italy. They all decided to be friends because they had so much in common. It's time for World War II. Germany is invading the neighbors. Then they invade the neighbors' neighbors. Then the neighbors' neighbors' neighbors. The only thing left in my mind is World War One, World War Two. Because they are good friends and started not helping Japan because they're friends and our friends are not friends. Plus they're planning on invading the entire ocean. The United States is also working on a large, very huge bomb, bigger than any other bomb ever, just in case. But they still haven't joined the war. War looks bad on TV, and the United States is really starting to care about their image. But then Japan spits on them in Hawaii and challenges them to war. And they say yes. And then Germany, as a symbol of friendship, declares war on the United States also. So the United States goes to war in Europe, and they help the gang chase Germany back into Germany. And they also start chasing Japan back into Japan. And they haven't used the bomb yet and are curious to see if it works. So they drop it on Japan. They actually drop two. Oh, at least I had some seconds of silence. United States installed a new government, inspired by the United States government, with just the right ingredients for a post-war economic miracle. 
and Japan starts making TVs, VCRs, automobiles, and camcorders as fast as they can, and also better than everybody else. They get rich, and the economy goes wild, and then the miracle wears off. But everything's still pretty cool, I guess. Bye. It's done. Oh. That was so fast. <laughs> that was so fast. <laughs> All that's left on my mind is just that World War I and World War II. Everything just kind of passed through my mind. Oh my goodness. Funny but yet nice way to present history of Japan. Though we cannot learn at this fast <laughs> but I really love how he presented the, all the, these things and it was really really so fast okay and thank you so much for watching with me I hope you had learned something for me I only had World War One and World War Two on my mind and uh, nothing more <laughs> I think I have to watch this video maybe 10 times more so that I could learn something <laughs> and what else uh, just the end part the taking over of the USA and of course it's good to know that they had taken over some some countries around them <laughs> I think they had forgot I didn't see the Philippines in here the Philippines was also invaded by the Japanese hmm. or did I miss it <laughs> Okay, and this is I am Jam guys. Thank you so much for watching with me again and I hope to see you in what's video in my next video. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe now. Yes, now. Thank you. Bye bye.